that, that can do that for other people. So I love that. And then Lynette Woodard is really special. I have never had the honor of meeting Lynette Woodard until today, and it was a real privilege. I, she was my role model growing up, one of mine. Um, unbelievable player, played first female Harlem Globetrotter, couple Olympics. I mean, she is special, and she is so graceful, and just her opportunity to, to have her come into the locker room and to introduce her to the Hawkeyes was really meaningful. It's not out of the realm of possibility that you see Ohio State again within a week. So the fact that you guys even up to score, what does that mean going into a possibly another battle with them on a neutral site? This, this conference is so incredible. Um, you know, I mean, two top ten teams just battling it out right here today from the Big Ten. And it's going to go down, la you know, next week. Are you kidding? It's, it's going to be the amazing Big Ten tournament. But, you know, we could see them, but, you know, both of us have got to get through a couple games in order for that to happen. Um, and, you know, I, we'll just, you know, if we have that opportunity, we'll welcome it. I was wondering if when you look at what Caitlin did today versus the other record she said you can in recent days, does this one stick out in terms of what this is going to do for women's sports moving forward? You know, I hope it advances women's sports even more. Um, but to me, you don't have to break a man's record to be recognized. You don't have to do that. You know, I think breaking Lynette's record was significant. And um, so to me... Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I admire Pistol Pete, but at the same time, I, I just don't want that to be the bar for women's athletics. How were you able to kind of hold them off? They, they of course, just kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. And it, but in the second half, you seemed to find an answer. Yeah, you know, they, they got it down, and then Caitlin, I think, knocked it up. You know, I, that sounded terrible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got to race that right now. Right now. Oh my gosh. I, oh lordy. Um, thank you, baby. Um, Caitlin hit a three and got us back on track. And um, so you know they they're not going to let down. I mean we had them you know we had them up by twelve at their place and they didn't back down. Right? We knew it was going to happen. Can you guys just talk about that right there at the end of the first half? I mean, three tenths of a second left, you guys score six points. Well, they took it away in her well, two. Which, yeah, yeah. But at least four points count. How big of a factor was that emotionally that Hannah was able to get fouled, not those two, three throws, and then Caitlin got the record out of the way then? Absolutely. Uh, tremendous momentum going into halftime. We thought it counted going into halftime, and even if it didn't, we still did it, right? Like, we still executed and did it. And some of that mentally just helps your confidence. And so, um, you know, that was an unbelievable play, unbelievable pass by Kate Martin, um, and they executed it beautifully. So we'll put that one up our sleeve and use it again later. Yeah. Six offensive rebounds, uh, and you're doing that against players like Cody McMahon, Nicholas uh, and, and those two in particular were... Uh, trying to be pro uh, provocateurs, I don't know how to pronounce that word today. What's it like to go up against people competing like that and to put up numbers like these? Yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I say that a lot, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I think it's great going up against people who are at the top of the league. Like, it, it's making me better, it's making them better. Um, and I think that's what we all want out of basketball. So. Are you a player that yeah. looks? I'm guessing you don't need much motivation going against the number two teams in the country, but the fact that you had that loss, I know, I'm guessing it wasn't a game that you were happy with last January, so how much was that in the back of your mind? Um, I think that's a big motivator for all of us. Um, we've been thinking about it since it happened, um, and we just wanted to get it back. So. Coach, where is this teaching moment uh, for all the kids out there who watched what Caitlin did just before halftime? Everyone was probably wonder if it would be a three, some kind of crazy, you know, two with an and one, but she did it at the foul line. What's the coaching lesson to take away that she did it with a free throw? Oh, that's a good point. Um, I hadn't thought about that, but you're right. Um, yeah, those free throws are important, and she's very, very good. I mean, she shoots our technical fouls for us, um, and that was the one that what, tied, right? Tied it? And put it over. Oh, and put it over. Okay. Well, yeah, go back to fundamentals, everybody, right? I'm kind of glad it wasn't a logo three. I'm sure she would like it to be a logo three, but I'm glad it wasn't. Lisa, what do days like this mean to you as a head coach? 
You know, it's emotional because of the people that are, you know, the, the five seniors, but it's more like we had game day here. You know, we had great recruits here. We had all these people that came to watch our team, and they've been there for us all year long. I mean, they've been there since the crossover in Kinnick. And to have, think about when we started that with 56,000 people nearly there in Kinnick to now, you know, today where you can't even get a, a seat at one of our games, it is so meaningful because they are helping propel women's sport. The follow up on that. Obviously, 24 years ago, that probably wasn't something that was in your mind. What would you tell yourself 24 years ago about today? I don't know if I could imagine that. We, we actually, um, 24 years ago, Jan, Jenny, and I um, came in here one time into Carver and said, we're going to fill this place up someday. I don't know if any of us ever thought we'd really do it, but it happened. And um, so it, it's special to share it with them. I mean, Jan and Jenny and I have been together for so long and... You know, I'm just so thankful for their loyalty and how hard they work. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're amazing. And I'm just very thankful to share this with them. Lisa, your team has been the rock stars of, of college basketball now for a year, but certainly during this season. It is a lot of pressure for, for the women to perform each and every day, yet they seem to do that, whether they win or lose, but for the most part win. What's it like to be around people that mentally tough and how does that help you guys get to reach this point in the season? You know, I always feel that basketball is such a great way to teach those life lessons. And we talk about it a lot. Like, how can we be better people? How can we prepare ourselves not for the next four years that they're here, but the next 40 years of their life? How are they going to take the lessons from basketball and use that moving forward? And being mentally strong is really hard, you know, really good to be able to learn that. Bouncing back from failure is hard, but we all fail. You know, every one of us fails, maybe except for South Carolina right now. But, um, you know, the rest of us, you know, we have to learn how to deal with that. And if they can learn that lesson while they're here, um, then it's more than just winning games. Hannah, what did you get from last year's postseason, both Big Ten and then NCAA, that's going to help you now headed into your second <coughs> postseason? Um, I think just having confidence in my abilities and in the team and not – um, stressing about anything um, and doing my homework before we leave. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for covering us all year long, you guys. I really do appreciate it. Before you saw him.
have a different magnitude to them. I think the one uh, when I was younger was like, I was just a young girl and that's why I loved women's basketball. It was because of her and how good the links were and obviously a lot of other people as well, but um, I wanted to be just like her. I thought I was going to go to UConn when I was growing up, but obviously that's not what happened. But, um, you know, and then obviously for her to be here um, and surprise me, it was pretty special and I felt like I was that young girl again. Um, and it's crazy how life can come full circle and I think more than anything, like she's just such a great role model, a great person, not only a great basketball player. When you guys were rolling along there in the in the first half, and then Molly goes down, and um, mm-hmm. kind of a ominous just energy in the building. They cut it to four from ten. Just how did you guys kind of stabilize things and refocus, and you know what was obviously a tough moment. Yeah, I think that kind of just speaks to our culture. It's like it's always next man up. Obviously, it's hard watching an injury like that, and I, I didn't see it. Um, I think a lot of us had our backs turned to it, but Molly's somebody that gives so much and plays so hard. I think, you know, you kind of just want to do it for her, so it almost gives you energy in a way. It doesn't take it away, and I think they went on a little run, and then we kind of gathered ourselves, and um, I thought Sydney came in and played great, and I thought Kylie came in and played really, really well, and um, you know, that's what we're going to need going forward. So um, I'm proud of our group. Um, when they went on their, their runs, I thought we always had a response. So What has this day been like? <laughs> it's, been, it's been a lot, um, but this is what's so fun and so special. And, like, this is what we've built here. And this is these are the moments you dream of. And, you know, obviously our fans were incredible. Um, it kind of feels like you're living in a little bit of delusion because this is just so awesome. And to celebrate our seniors and, you know, four other people that have meant so much to me and given so much to this program, it's, it's really awesome. And I, I felt like we played a very dominant basketball game. It felt like we were in control of the game the entire time. Um, even when they made shots, we always had an answer. I thought we handled their press well. Um, you know, I thought we just played a really good, complete basketball game. Obviously, there's always ways we, we can improve, but um, it's special, obviously, with the people in the building, the fans that we have, uh, college game day being here, being sold out, it being senior night. There's a lot to manage from all different areas, but um, I think our group is pretty mature in that area, and, you know, we've kind of balanced it for the last couple of years, and it, did, it seemed to give us energy more than anything. Hey, you mentioned kind of pure rock and, and her play. It kind of seemed like every single defensive possession she was getting a deflection or a steal. What did that do for her? Yeah, I've I've played with Kylie since I've played in AAU, and that's how she's always played. She always just has a really good eye for the ball, and she gets her hands in passing lanes. She's quick. She's got long arms. Um, I think she got quite a few def- deflections that led to either her making a layup, it led to Gabby making a three, or just giving us an extra possession on the other end. So uh, I think her coming in and giving us that spark was super huge, and obviously something we're going to need moving forward. What do you think about breaking the record from the line? <laughs> Honestly, like, I didn't really care. It was cool to hear everybody just, like, start screaming. And um, I thought that gave us a lot of momentum going into halftime, even that sequence. Even though they wiped off the two points, like, we kind of just threw a party after we made that shot, even though it didn't count. So that was pretty fun. Um, but I thought it gave us a lot of momentum going into halftime. And, um, yeah, I guess I'm just glad to make a free throws. That's, like, the hardest thing to do in basketball is make free throws with nobody at the free throw line. So... <laughs> So the, even though that shot didn't count for that, you guys still celebrated as if like it was something yeah. that you guys still did. How how big was that stretch? Even though it wasn't six, but that four yeah. point stretch right there before it had happened. It was huge. Like it was a huge swing, and um, obviously I wish the shot counted, but I wasn't surprised that they wiped it off. Point three seconds is not a, a lot of time, and um, but even Hannah stepping up and making two free throws for us was huge. And then I make two. It's kind of takes the air out of them after they had just gone down and made a layup and we were coming back to the other end um, right before halftime. So I think that gave us a lot of momentum going into half and we kind of just carried that and uh, our 
our vibe in the locker room was super positive. I felt like we played a good half. There was a few things that we could have cleaned up and uh, came out in the second half and really just dominated, especially in the third quarter. When Coach found out that it was a free throw that put you over the top, <laughs> that she was happy that it wasn't uh, a, a logo. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you think of that? Do you the coach was saying it wasn't? She's probably glad that I'm attacking the basket more and not shooting as many bombs. But, uh, you know, she's always on me to get to the free throw line. Like, those are easy points. And, um, you know, we always want to get the other team in foul trouble. And I thought we did a good job of that today. They kind of battled foul trouble all day. and um, But, yeah, she's, she's probably just glad I'm getting free easy points for us. Is there ever had to be a logo free? Sorry, what was that? Is there ever had to be a logo free? Uh, I don't really care. I mean, it is what it is. Um, yeah. Four years ago, uh, you were hyping up your dog's cardboard cutout yeah. after the game winner against Iowa State. And then now you look around, Travis Scott's courtside, Maya Moore's here, Jake from State Farm's here. How did it happen? Oh, gosh. Um... I think just being me is just the biggest thing is like I've just had fun and I've loved every single second I've been here. I've loved every single second I've gone to practice, um, played in the game. Obviously, there's been ups and downs. And I think the biggest part of like my maturity and growth has been able to handle that and balance that and balance everything that's going on and around me and the noise around me. And obviously, it can be hard at times, but um, I would never change that for the world. But I also I think. You know, people that are showing up and coming to our games, like, they really love the way our team plays. Like, they're cheering for everyone. Like, when Gabby makes a three, when Kate makes a three, like, you can just feel, like, the energy and the joy and the excitement that our team plays with, and that's, like, that's contagious. Um, you know, our fans give us that energy, but we give it right back to them, and um, I think that's what's been so fun about this whole ride is the style of basketball we play is, like, people love it. They're not just here for me. Um, I'm sure I help, but at the end of the day, it's we have a really great team and a really great culture, and that's what makes it so fun. Senior day ceremony, uh, the MC reflected on how the record for all of college basketball, mm -hmm. making a point of saying this was a men's record or women's record. Yeah. And you also made a point of saying that uh, we're, we're looking at uh, a team that gets followed, that has sellout crowds like you haven't seen in the past. I'm just wondering if today's moment, if, if this record sticks out from the others for you in terms of what you want people to take away from it. Honestly, like, no, not in this moment, I would say. Um, I feel like this is a lot of everything that's gone on the past couple weeks and even the past couple months. I feel like I'm so focused on helping this team win and be so great that it's, like, hard for me to wrap my head around everything that's going on. Um, I think I'm just trying to soak in the moment. Um, a record is a record. I don't want that to be the reason people remember me. I hope people remember me for the way I played with a smile on my face, my competitive fire. Um, sure, they can remember the wins, um, but also just, like, the fun me and my teammates had together and I think like that's even the same for my teammates like sure we'll talk about great wins that we had and things like that but it's all it's all the other moments that mean the most to us and I think um, the same should go for everyone else. Hey, Kayla, hey, what was today like for you? Did, did you wake up at four and couldn't sleep or did you wake up at eight and you felt great and what was kind of your morning routine like? Honestly like I will well, I, I had to wake up at like my alarm was for 6 22 a.m. So I woke up and I came here. Um, we had shoot around, and I think it's good to have shoot around, get moving a little bit. And then obviously, like the place is just chaos, kind of a zoo here with all the people. So you're trying to balance like your normal routine with also enjoying the environment. And um, I think our girls did a really good job with that. And obviously, having game day last year probably helped, and we knew what to expect coming in here. And um, yeah, I think. I just tried to, you know, go about it the same way I always go about it. Obviously, I would have liked to shoot a little better tonight and play a little better and maybe not turn the ball over so many times in the first half. But um, overall, I thought we played really well. Um, I thought we, our energy was contagious. I thought Hannah Stolke was really, really good tonight. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I tried to keep my routine as similar as I could. Uh, uh, 16-game winning streak going into the today's game. Uh, and like you said, you guys pretty much control the game. Mm -hmm. Do you think Iowa made a big statement today, Nashville? Yeah, I, I think we did. Um, I also think this is a game, like, we're favored and we should probably win. Um, it's on senior day. You always want to send your seniors out the right way. But also, I think we had a lot of confidence. We, we went back and watched, we watched the Ohio State game this week from when we played them previously. And we felt like we should have won that game. We were up 12 in the fourth quarter, and then we kind of just did it to ourselves. We missed free throws. We missed layups. Um, we didn't execute on defense. I thought our defense was so much better tonight versus them. I thought we caused them like a lot of problems in the paint area. Obviously, they made some tough baskets. I thought JC was really good tonight. Um, but, um, yeah, I think 
I think, you know, you can say this is a statement, but I think more than anything, it's just good momentum for our team uh, going to the Big Ten tournament. You never want to go into the Big Ten tournament on a loss. So um, I think building off this is, is really important. And Coach Bluter always has us playing our best basketball uh, during this time. So um, I'm just proud of our group. You mentioned Hannah's play today. You mentioned Hannah's play today. Right there. Go ahead. You mentioned Hannah's play today. In the first match, it was Cody Mack with Hannah with 33 points today. Hannah has 23 points, nine rounds, six offensive rebounds. Just talk about her play today. I thought Hannah came up with a lot of big offensive rebounds, especially in the second half where it kind of got stuck around 10, and Hannah would come up with a big one here and there. Um, I thought she was aggressive. I thought she, you know, pumped faked a little more, got, kind of got them in a little more, bit more foul trouble. But um, this is what Hannah's capable of every night. I think it's just her confidence and believing in herself. I thought she made some big free throws. Um, but, yeah, I think she played really, really well, and obviously that's going to be important going down the stretch. Go ahead. Talk about how big this Ohio State rivalry has grown since mm -hmm. your freshman year, yeah. and it's – Still not, it still possibly might be going uh, in the Big Ten tournament. Yeah, absolutely. I think Ohio State's a team that's always battled us really, really well. Obviously, we went there last year, and we beat them. I think they beat us here the year previously. We beat them in the Big Ten tournament. So it kind of goes back and forth a little bit, and I think that's what makes it so fun. And um, They're a very, very talented group, and a lot of their core have been there since I've been playing. So uh, we've had a lot of fun battles. Okay, Thank you, guys. Okay. I'm going to ask the same question okay. in a little bit different way. Okay. You have now scored more points than anyone who has ever played Division One men's or women's basketball. As much as you say that record isn't what you're thinking about, yeah. when you hear it like that, is that going to hit you at some point? Oh, for sure. Like, it's, it's really, like, crazy to think about. Like, honestly, if you would have told me that before my college career started, I would have laughed in your face and been like, no, you're insane. And, like, I've always been able to score the ball, but I don't think... People really understand how many amazing players have come before me and like been able to score the ball um, and do it at such a high rate and do it for teams that are really, really good. And uh, just to be in the same realm of all these players that have been so successful, whether, whether it's Pete or whether it's Kelsey Plum or Lynette Woodard, like all these people have just given so much to the game. So, um, you know, hopefully somebody comes after me and breaks my records and I can be there supporting them. And um, that's what makes the game of basketball so fun. But, yeah, it'll definitely hit me at some point. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.